about a week ago we got the whole area got about uh, well I got eight inches here of rain and it came in a very short period of time less than 24 hours that brought the creeks up and what I'm trying to find out today I'm fixing to run to Somerville Lake Somerville I'm gonna find out if the surge of flood water was enough to get the white bass up in the creek the, the problem that we have is that the lake is so low it's 10 feet lower it was 10 feet low now it's only about seven or, or closing in on six feet low so we're making progress but the problem is when the lakes that low there's a long 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 flat the upper end of the lake is very shallow uh, it's silted in from all the years uh, of the Yawal and Nails Creek dumping you know silt in it when it floods so that there's no creek channel there's about a mile of the lake between uh, where the creek dumps in and it's deep enough for the fish to get into and the lake itself I'm hoping that the flood water rose it up high enough across that long flat that the fish made the trip up into the creeks but there's only one way to prove that and that's to go fish it's cold this morning so they may not be very active but you know if there's enough fish in there if they moved up in the creek in mass I'll be able to catch something even if it's by accident let's go welcome to fishtails it is a pretty drive over there everything's green now every creek has water every stock tank is filled up so we're making progress a little more rain we'll be back to normal there goes the eagle That's about how you usually see an eagle. You get a glimpse. And I see one fella fishing down there at the bridge. But I, I like to hit a different area. And it's across this road here. That side's the wildlife management area. This side is the state park, which I have an annual pass. But uh, across this pasture right here, this field, across this little creek, there's a good bit of water in the creek. And like I said, I hope it was enough. I hope there was enough of a surge in the flood water to allow the white bass to get up into the creek. I've got a couple of spots here that I fish and if there isn't anything in there if I don't get any bites that's pretty good indication their fish are not up in here not a lot of water normally it'd be up to the top of that yeah that's that don't look good Lots of tracks. This is an area where they cross a lot. This might just be a hiking adventure today. But let me throw a few in here and see what happens. Well, nothing in the first few casts. But that's absolutely correct as far as there not being a lot of water in here. Talked to the second fisherman there. He'd been out and has walked down the bridge and hadn't done any good. This is going to be challenging. I knew it would be. If not for the fact that it's cold as well. So I've been up in here where the fish were here. And you still don't catch them because the weather turns them off. That happens quite often. Even when I know they're in here. But it's alright. Good to be out, and I saw the eagle, so that makes a good day. I caught a lot of crappie off at this point. Those are deeper holes, but there still is just not enough water in here. This normally has two feet more water in it, and that missing water makes the fishing pretty poor. Yeah. Look at that. 
That's pretty nasty. There's just not much water in here. Uh, don't hold out much hope for there being any fish in here. But it's all right. I'm here to find out one way or another. Man, I've caught a lot of fish out of this hole. Here, I'll show you a picture of them. Trip down here. Me and Brian Miller made. And me and my dad made down here too. Now let's see what's biting. Let me show you what I'm throwing. This is a rooster tail. This one's white. I usually throw yellow, but today I don't think it matters a great deal in this dingy water. But there's something about a rooster tail, the noise it makes when it goes through the water, that will draw in fish. I've caught a lot of fish on it. It's, it's the lure I always go to when I fish in a new body of water, or if I need to see or if I need to learn whether there's any fish in here or not. It's the best way. If I don't catch anything with a rooster tail, there's probably not anything in there. Well, it looks like there's nothing in there. Not enough water yet. That's disappointing, but this drought is still taking its toll. I think I'll cut out across the flat, do a big circle, and come back out the truck see what I can see I was pretty disappointed I sure hoped that the fish had made it into the creek but apparently not uh, a couple other guys I talked to had the same results no fish there's just not enough water and then I went into the park and the whole upper end of the lake has got tons of pelicans on it and I think those pelicans are probably picking off their fair share of white bass trying to come up that creek. Before heading back to the house, I checked out one more area and another creek with the same exact situation. There's a land bridge between it and the lake. Only when it comes up another two feet or so will they be able to come across that land bridge. Until then, we ain't gonna have no fish. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.